This is one of the most scariest story ever. A man and a woman had no child for years. They, um, they were struggling to conceive. So one day, they decided to go for an IVF. And that was 12 years ago. So um, through the IVF, the woman got pregnant and they gave birth to a lovely little son. And then they raised the son together. So until two days ago, tw that is 12 years later, they jokingly decided to do a DNA test. And they ordered the at-home kit and did the test. And after the test, th when the results came, they were shocked. Turns out that the woman is truly the mother of the child, but the man had no connection with the child. In fact, the test read DNA um, mother, they mentioned the name of the mother, and father unknown. So they started, they, they contacted the police and started tracing the father of the child and what exactly happened. It turned out that the true father of the child visited the clinic, the IVF clinic on the same day that this couple visited and someone somewhere mixed the two spams, that of the man with that of the stranger. So now the, his wife has given birth for another man and another woman somewhere gave birth for him. And that was 12 years ago. So after some time, they were able to track down the original father and called him and they said it was the most awkward and weirdest cause of their life because apparently the man himself did not do any test to verify that the, the child he had also did not belong to him. He said it's one of the weirdest calls and now they have decided not to tell the son straight away. Eventually, they're going to find a way to let the son know. What do you guys think? Now, here's what I think. If you give birth, do DNA test immediately. That is, that is the, the best kind of um, way to solve this kind of problem. Once the woman is given birth, everybody does DNA test alongside it, straight up. You know, in fact, I believe that the government should subsidize DNA tests. Because this is a very real issue, the way they subsidize agriculture and in fact some governments have started subsidizing pads for women, you know, a lot of things are subsidized. DNA tests should be subsidized by the government so that once somebody gives birth immediately, you do a DNA test alongside it to clear all doubts. Because sometimes this kind of thing can happen. Either mistakenly, in fact, many people have been arrested. There was a certain doctor that was arrested that it turned out that he had, um, every time people came to his clinic to do IVF, he would, rem he would throw away the sperm of the man and use his own to impregnate the woman. And nobody knew until years later when one woman raised an alarm and a lot of women raised alarms and then police started investigation. After months of investigation, they narrowed it down to the doctor. He had over 12 kids with so many women that never knew. And he got arrested. So what do you guys think about it? I believe that if your wife is giving birth, just factor in the cost of DNA test with the child. Some hospitals in some countries, even in Nigeria sometimes, there have been cases where the child was swapped. A woman gives birth and then the nurses just swap the children for some weird reason. You know, so um, DNA test is not just about um, infidelity, okay, testing for infidelity, all right? It is also about being sure of what happened on time. You don't want to spend 12 years before you find out that you're not the father or that the woman is not the mother, you know? You don't want to spend 30 years. There was a young man in Nigeria. He went to Canada and he wanted to bring his uh, family over and they told him to do DNA test to prove that the people he wants to bring over are the family. And when he did the DNA test, oh God, he was shocked. He was not even a member of the family. You know, he just had his mom or something, you know. And then the rest of the siblings were not even related to him. Somehow, it was, it was weird. So, do DNA test. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And what should this man do now? Is he going to, is he going to tell his wife 
to go and start living with the man and then that other man should bring their wife are they going to exchange wives or what i don't know you know after spending so many years together and living happily and then all of a sudden there's this crazy news let me know what you think and we can talk about it in the comment section below see you guys